to my subscribers right there. Uh, hey, we we part of the company. We what? We part of that guy right there. It's the best mechanic there. Nobody. Yeah, yeah uh, and now he's an influencer in no. YouTube. No. <laughs> Serious. That's one of the best mechanic. Yeah, wait till that comes. Holmes Law, Codeology. Fuck all cuz. I'm here to enforce Holmes Law. Come be great, man. Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? My name is Mel. Welcome to Holmes Law. Today I'm going to be showing you how to actually take measurements for specific bends, but also you can use these for any bend. It's not just the bends that I'm going to show you, okay? This is going to be a part one of, I'm not sure how long the series is going to be. I want to try to actually give you, you know, explain to you how to take measurements for different instances and, you know, different bends, you know, for beginners and maybe savvy benders and experienced benders as well. Okay, this is something that a topic that you know really can you know for certain people they lack the knowledge Okay, so either way I want to actually kind of give you you know my experience and how I actually take the measurements Okay, but this is in no way means that this is the only way okay by all means if you know a better way You know put it in the comments, you know, let us know Okay, I also have communities that you can actually post them to join me on my discord Anyway, let's get down to the actual video. These are different clips with a voiceover just so that you know Like I said, this is part one of many. I'm not really sure how far this is gonna go. Thank you and enjoy the show Let's just say that I wanted to actually find out and take a measurement and see what my measurement is gonna be for 90 from there to there Kind of like a back-to-back -back 90 like how it is now, you know Let me just do a little, you know Voicing in here real quick Basically, let's just say Okay, we want to actually do Like I just said, a back-to-back -back 90 here Okay, and these walls weren't here Okay, and We needed to get an accurate measurement Okay, so we could use a laser Okay, you could Put your laser on the back of the connector because we're trying to get the measurement for the back of the 90 for a back-to-back -back bend, correct? Okay, so we could actually use the laser and that's how we would get our measurement, okay? Now, let's just say in this instance where we do have both of the walls, we can actually just take the measurement from wall to wall, you know, subtract whatever it is from the wall to the connector and on the other side the same thing they want to know what our back-to-back -back distance is okay but even if you know we do have these walls and you still want to use the laser you can just one quick tip is you have to make sure that your lasers are always in any situation your lasers are straight and plumb or whatever the case may be you want to make sure that they're correct because I'm going to show you something right now and it's going to see the laser is going to be crooked okay but you have to line it up and I'm going to show you how Okay, but I want to make a point because I know a lot of people out there are going to be like Oh, there's other ways to measure You don't have to take the measurement for this back-to-back -back in this way I just wanted to show you, you know, a situation, you know, where we actually have a back-to-back -back and we're using a laser Okay, there are other ways of doing this Okay, we all know that Alright, so let's finish the video clip not really the stub height of the 90, but how long it's going to be. You know, what you can do is set up a laser on one side so you could take a measurement, okay? And then you would stretch your tape from this end to this end till you hit the laser, okay? And then you know what your measurement is for the back-to-back, -back, 90, okay? That's as simple as it is. You're going to use a laser, though, okay? Now, with that said... You also need to make sure your laser is going to be square and straight because look how the laser is right now on the floor. It's kind of going on an angle as you can see. So before you set it up with the back of your 90, you want to make sure that you're straight. And how do you make sure that you're straight? You can t use the wall as a reference point or there's always going to be something around that you could use as a reference point to see if you're square and straight. All right. What I actually mean by that is you can, when you have your laser on your target to make sure that you're straight or square, you want to take your measurement from your reference point, which in this case is the wall, to your laser, okay? Somewhere close to where the laser is. Then you want to move down a few feet or whatever your situation is and take a measurement again from the wall or your reference point to the laser, making sure that you have the same measurement 
or very close to the same measurement, okay, and then you'll know that your laser is straight. At the same time, it still needs to be hitting your target, okay? So after you get it straight, you want to make sure that it's still hitting your target, okay? Because you could have moved it out of target. So you want to make sure that, again, you're keeping those two measurements fairly close and that you're still at your target. Clip, I'm going to show you how to use the laser for a kick, okay, using larger, bending larger conduit, whatever the case may be, okay, you can use this for any other bends as well, okay, and this is just like how to use the laser in some instances out in the field, okay, so let's start the clip, and if you see, I'm putting my laser down the center of the conduit, okay, sometimes you'll have to put it to the edge of the conduit, the bottom of the conduit, it all depends on the type of bend you're making, okay, just want to show you how to actually Actually use it getting you warmed up on using the laser when you have no reference points around or you're or above head now that laser is the center of my conduit as you can see okay so all I have to do now is measure from the laser to the center of my sleeve and that would be how much kick I need okay it's as simple as that okay the laser is just my reference point to take my actual measurement now if you see here when I'm actually taking the measurement I want to put my laser to the one inch mark just so that I actually have it accurate and then I can deduct that from my actual measurement now you know basically here I have like an eight, eight inch kick so I would or eight and a half something like that so I would take away the one inch okay that would be seven and a half inches okay that just makes life easier when you're taking your measurements with a laser okay and as you can see you know it wasn't perfect I was just trying to show you guys it's down the center of the conduit you want to try to get it as you know accurate as as possible so you can get your measurement basically I have my pipes up there coming from that rack and I'm gonna drop them down so I put my laser to where the pipe is on the bottom Okay, because I want to measure from bottom to bottom. Okay, and then I would just take my tape measure and the laser and measure to my next rack. Okay, I'll show you how. Basically, my laser is right over here. Okay, and my mark is right here. So now I can actually measure. Okay, how much I need. Because that's the bottom of my pipe on the other side okay so we need to drop it down to this level right here where this rack is and all I have to do is basically measure I put it on the one this way I just subtract one inch okay and all I have to do is measure all right and I have basically seven and a half inches that's how simple it is okay laser is the best friend I'm telling you see and that's the bottom of the pipe for that spot and you can do vice versa whether you're going up or down I just want to show you how you would use a laser I'm not using a laser in this actual instance here but if the conduit is coming down the wall where I'm pointing to all you would have to do is put your laser on that center of the conduit okay and take your measurement horizontal okay so from that laser to the wall that would be one measurement then I would actually place the laser where I want it to fall in this case right here okay on this actual where the conduit is falling now put my laser there okay and then I would take my measurement from the wall to that laser that gives you the two measurements that you need to fill into your calculation to get a rolling offset okay I didn't actually get to use the actual laser here to show you but you get my drift and you don't have to use a laser in this instance either like something small like this you could actually just measure but in bigger instances where the gap is a lot larger you can see how and why you would need a laser okay all right simple enough